Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com on Monday, February 25th, 2013 with a gold, silver, and stock report. Uh, this is the NASDAQ composite down about 1.5% today. Did a real about face here. Uh, put in a low uh, uh, two sessions ago and then uh, came up and actually looked like it was, uh, you know, in the morning was uh, making some kind of a, of a run back up into this trading range here, but then did an about face and undercut this previous low. Got support just above this blue line, the 50-day moving average on increased volume. So this is a distribution day. In other words, institutions were uh, selling heavily today. Not a great sign. So um, this uh, this sort of uptrend that we were in all year long so far, um, you know, for the first two months of, uh, of 2013, uh, is uh, the back of that has now been broken. So uh, it's just best to wait and see if you're a bull uh, where this takes us and look for a fa more favorable chart pattern. Uh, let's hope we do get support down here at the 50-day moving average, build a little bit of sideways action here, and then come up out of that. And uh, if we do fail there, then our next support, of course, down here at this green dotted line, the 100-day moving average, and then right below that is the 200-day moving average. So uh, all bets are off uh, on the NASDAQ to the long side right now. Let's take a pause and see what happens. Here's a weekly chart uh, uh, of the uh, uh, NASDAQ composite here. And uh, you can see that we did undercut the 10-week line. No support there at the 10-week line. Uh, and undercutting last week's uh, low here. Not a great sign. You can kind of see the index rolling over. Uh, so like I say, let's see what happens here. Dow Industrials uh, down about 1.55%. And uh, an uglier chart, in my estimation, we had broken out uh, uh, and, and then had a little sideways pattern here. Uh, very bullish chart pattern all the way through uh, the first two months of this year and the last several days have been bearish. You can see making a new high here this morning, uh, upper end of the range, and then undercutting that range, undercutting the previous low and looks like we're headed down to test the 50-day moving average on the Dow. Looking at the small cap Russell 2000, you can see the damage down over 2% today and uh, really coming down here, uh, wiping out about a month's worth of gains. So, you know, they say you take the stairs up and the elevator down, and that is really true here on the Russell 2000. Looking at the S&P 500 large caps down 1.8%, uh, ugly, ugly, ugly. Uh, wiping out again about a month's worth of gains here. Uh, looks like it's coming down here to test the 50-day moving average, which is, is incidentally uh, lining up with the lower trend line here uh, on a distribution day. So all the indexes looking up. Moving on now to the gold stocks. This is the GDX, the gold miners uh, ETF, uh, up about 1.7%. Uh, had a, just a decimation here the last several weeks here. And... Uh, now we were bound to get some buying uh, uh, due to the oversold conditions. Uh, we did get a pickup in volume uh, here, and it uh, looks like we're headed back up here at least to the 10-day moving average, this gray line here, and possibly the 21-day, this red line. But we've got a long way to go before rebuilding uh, the uh, bullishness of this chart. Uh, still in a massive downtrend, and I'll believe it when I see it. I wanted to call your attention to uh, an indicator down here, uh, the RSI, Relative Strength Index, you can see that it was the most oversold that it's been in quite a long time, uh, getting down underneath the 30 mark, uh, which is a technical sign that, that it was just way too oversold, and now we're rallying back, uh, possibly to the 50 zone here. So uh, that's a bullish indicator. So much negativity, it starts to become bullish just because it was so negative for so long. Uh, moving on now to gold. Uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about 1% today. Uh, third up day in a row. Uh, volume not that great. Um, still way below the key moving average lines here. Nothing to write home about. Let's see where this rally takes us. And scrolling on down to the RSI here, you can see this has reached a low that hasn't seen in a long time as well. So rallying up off of these lows is certainly warranted. And looking at a weekly chart of the GLD, you can see the decimation, uh, you know, coming up to a, a high here of 174 for the third time, and then breaking from that uh, here in late September and uh, stair-stepping on down. And then the bottom fell out here uh, several weeks ago. And now we're just trying to get a little bit of pop-up off of that. Uh, let's see if we can get it here to the red line, the four-week uh, moving average, and then up here to the 10-week moving average. So lots of overhead resistance up here at key moving average lines. Not a great chart at all. When we look at the monthly chart of the gold, uh, we can see uh, uh, we're down 4.34% uh, uh, on the month. And uh, you can see losing control of the convergence of this blue line, which is the 10-month moving average, and the green dotted line, the 20-month moving average. So the next uh, logical stop would be 
uh, the one uh, the 152670 level which is the previous low here uh, if it does reach down to that would make for a triple bottom that'd be a logical place to find some support and also down here at the 40 month moving average uh, just under fifteen hundred dollars here so uh, the gold uh, chart uh, uh, the best possible scenario would be a triple bottom and then a rally up off of that back to the previous highs uh, which are very close together at uh, at the 1793 level and the 1798 level uh, we've been in an 18-month correction since peaking out here uh, in mid-2011. Uh, uh, 2011. So uh, in a correction, sideways for the most part on the gold, uh, waiting for some sort of a sign that we are uh, rallying, certainly getting above these key moving averages again would be a bullish sign. And last but not least, here is the silver, the SLV, up uh, almost 1% today, three up days. Uh, tepid volume on the upside coming up off the bottom a lot of skittish investors uh, long uh, silver investors being decimated here I can see why they're a little bit skittish uh, trying to get some momentum going at least carry us up here to the 10-day moving average uh, and uh, lots of overhead resistance though uh, ugly looking chart taking out the previous lows here um, nothing great about this chart uh, a rally to be expected on an oversold condition and uh, scrolling on down to the RSI you can see that it got down below 30 here it had done that a uh, uh, little uh, a bit uh, here in December uh, but again coming up off an oversold condition you can see the stochastic starting to round out you can see the on balance volume starting to spike up so some indicators uh, showing us that silver uh, may be due for uh, some further upside movement so there you go stocks looking terrible uh, in the short term uh, gold and silver looking good in the short term good luck trading everybody